Okay, everyone, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Kaiser, and we are live here from the Cheese League, November 2021. Uh, we got a small turnout today, so what the plan will be is we're going to be running a round robin. Um, we've got only four people signed up. Hey, Nava, what's up? Um, we've only got four people signed up, so we're not going to worry about any uh, you know, prize money for this. We're going to do free entry. And we're just going to get as many games on stream as possible because we can. People, uh, yeah, Coffee Rex is here. It's me, Coffee Rex, Caleb, and Euro here right now. Um, so that's probably going to be all that's going to be turning up today. Musket couldn't make it, so that means uh, Catherine's out of the picture. And McLeod is in Sydney right now. So that's three gamers uh, out here that, um, yeah, are not going to be competing in Melee today. So it is what it is. Uh, but we're just going to make the most of it. And we're going to get some games on stream. So... Um, we're going to get the tournament started very soon. We've just got to set up the bracket and we'll get it going. Um, in the meantime, enjoy the camera. <laughs> All right, I'll be back soon. Um, and what I also might do is just like put a stage mic so that, um, so that we actually have, like, you can still kind of hear people just chilling, even if they're not doing anything. Um, so I might get that set up right now while I'm doing that. What's up, y'all? Let me know if this sounds all right um, on the stream. Like, with the microphone kind of this far away, you should be able to get a little bit of what the players are saying, hopefully. Um, yeah, did that stage microphone need to like be a bit louder? Because I can make that happen, boys and girls. Sounds good. So the stage mic needs to be a bit, little bit louder. All right, I can do that. All right, well, we have lots of microphones around the place now. We should be getting like a lot of, yeah, okay. Stage mic needs a little more. The thing is, as soon as I start the, um, as soon as, like, it's only gonna be in the background, guys. Like, just barely, because uh, what's gonna kind of come, happen is the, Audio from the TV is going to be picked up by the microphone. So we don't want it like too loud where we're getting just mostly the microphone audio of the game, you know? But I feel like that's probably in a good spot, truth be told. Um, like, you, you uh, I might just like start up the game and then I'll come back down here and um, I'll test how the mic sounds with the game going. Oh, 
that might be a bit better. Just because it's like pointing down. But I don't know. I can't really see. I like I'm gonna play. Ready? Go! Game audio is too high. You can hear the mic just fine. Okay, yeah, that's actually not too bad. <laughs> Alright, um, so I'll turn the game just a little bit up here. Alright. I think this is a good level to leave the game audio at, guys. Yeah, like like this. Like this should be good. What do we reckon? This sound about right? Sound enjoyable to you? Spot on? A little lower, you think? Do you just want the like microphones to be louder? Because I feel like if I go if I go any quieter, it's going to be, like, I don't, yeah, I don't want to go any quieter than that for the melee, truth be told, guys. Because if I mute this, right? That's just the microphone picking up melee right now. Tiny bit louder mics. Okay, we can do that. So what you're hearing of the game is just the microphone that's on the stage right now, guys. Now I'm going to turn the game, like the game sound on. So what do you reckon of that? Like, does that sound pretty good? Because I think that's probably, like, basically where I want it. Yep, cool. 
All right, I'm gonna get some people on now. I gotta set up the Smash GG apparently. Cheese League FGC. Hmm. Okay, so let's go attendees. Come on. So we want All right, let's add people to this bracket now. Oh, 
All right, looks like we are actually set up now. Yep. Yep, looks like we're good to go. Sweet. Okay, guys. Let's get this bracket. Command uh, bracket. Is my bot even here? Yes, it is. Why didn't that work? Why isn't this working, Come guys? <laughs> it is... So it's commands, edit, bracket. Is that going to do it? Yes, we did it. All right. All right, let's get a fucking stream match going. Alright, what's up y'all? We are gonna have um, Coffee Rex and Caleb up first, everybody. Coffee Rex, Caleb. Okie dokie, here they come. The gamers themselves. Best of five time? Yeah, best of five. We're running it. Today is a special day. I should probably move that slightly out the way of the table so it doesn't get bumped. Um, okay, one second, y'all. No contest. Okay, here we go. Ready, go! 
All right, let's get it, y'all. First game of Cheese League November 2021. Oh, we get to hear the frame one clicky clacks. That's nice. Oh, listen to that. Listen to Coffee Rex go. He's like on that side of the stage as well. That's so nice. Alright, Caleb looking pretty good so far. Not bad, not bad. Perfect levels, that's what I like to hear. Alright. This should be the stock for Coffee Rex though. Just needs to rinse repeat this edge guard one more time. Oh, good movement from Caleb. Good, like, uh, pressure in the corner without throwing anything. You just want to move on the platform if you want to scare the, the homie into a quick, uh, into giving you a quick hit. Alright, though. Coffee Rex evening the game. Doing alright so far. Alright, so while I was promoting the stream, uh, Coffee Rex has actually come out with a nice handy little lead on, on himself right now. Oh my god, that was a crispy wave dash back um, up to. Caleb needs to... Okay, nice job. He actually held his stage position there, really well done. Oh, that laser's actually gonna get punished. Oh, nice down throw tech chase. Oh, this could be the stock if Caleb executes properly. Okay, he knew the uh, hard angle was gonna come. Oh my god, that up tilt. These up tilts are very scary if you're Falcon, am I, uh, if I'm being honest. Good there. Knee. Grab the ledge. Oh, uh, accidentally gets the top ornament winner. Oh, damn. The reverse. Up smash off the side is actually ridiculous. But Coffee Rex going 1 0 up. Um, we're definitely going to run uh, all the games on stream today and all best of five because we have that luxury. <laughs> Coffee Rex literally being in Twitch chat while he's on the stage. What an absolute fiend. Oh, nice. <laughs> Spot dodge. Yeah, we're just going to run every game on stream, Sam. <laughs> yeah, hearing that frame one heavy is kind of crispy in your ears. Not going to lie. Oh. Caleb actually getting the roll in, uh, catching Cover X, just grabbing the corner. Uh, he needs to find something like... I don't know, he actually needs to find a... 
a chance to hit him while he's got all this pressure going in the corner, you know? Because that's what's happening a lot is like Caleb has the free like stage to move around, um, and he's like making the person in the corner actually pretty pressured. But then like he doesn't actually convert it into anything that like results in a stop. So I feel like he can just do that like when he's playing neutral. Uh, he doesn't have to come down with a respawn platform to do that. Oh damn. All right, nice. Oh, this punish is actually pretty good for Coffee Rack. 67 off the rip. Caleb finally managing to reset to neutral. All right, careful now. Caleb trying to fight his way back to center. It actually does work out for them uh, in the end. Hmm. I don't know about Caleb jabbing and then doing a dash dance into nothing. Because usually if you're doing that jab, you're like trying to check them. And then if you jab them and they don't do nothing, you go in, basically. So I want to see J Caleb like do jab and then like show up knee. Because jab and then dash dance, all you're getting is stage. And the way Coffee Rex is playing right now, he's like really comfortable moving in and out of the corner. Oh, there you go. That was a good read. That was a good read. Well done. Alright, really good follow-up search from Coffee Rex. Caleb, not DI'ing any particular way. Oh, comes back with an air, and... Oh, two knees! He's dead! He's actually dead at 70. Caleb's in this now. That was a yucky stock. That was a yucky, yucky stock. Alright, pretty even though. It's anyone's game. Hopefully, Caleb actually gets a win on Dreamland. I want to see that the most right now. Uh, these gentlemen cancels haven't been... Uh, haven't gone so great for Caleb this set. Oh, good knee. Oh, why did he go to the left like that? Maybe he just flubbed on his controller. Some L miss L cancels here and there as well. Oh, that trade worked out not too bad for him. There's your gentleman. That's what he's looking for. Nice knee. He's actually got the... Uh, stage control, uh, really hardcore now. He's whiffing some moves to make sure Kaka Rex doesn't just uh, mindlessly approach. Um, that said, he's uh, being really mobile on the stage and he's kind of like crossing over a bit more frequently than maybe he needs to just like keep the control. Oh, but there you go. The knee's gonna take it. And we're going to 1 1. We actually have a match on our hands. Hold on. Let's go, Caleb. Let's go, Caleb. FD time. The scariest stage if you're Falcon versus Fox. Oh, that really just hits. Oh, there you go. One more. Oh, just barely off with that um dash jump. Just like somehow wasn't the right spacing. It's okay though, it's not the worst thing in the world. He's still got his percent, but now this means that Coffee Rex gets to just uh, play the neutral and wait for this Falcon to whiff something laggy and then do, you know, infinite wave shine. Oh, and he got the lasers. How scary. There you go. Knock down into grab. So far, Coffee Rex is actually doing a really good job at um, putting himself at a range where Falcon actually wants to uh, act, but isn't fast enough to like beat out the Nair, basically. You saw it a couple times there. He just threw out the Nair and uh, the Falcon kind of ran into it. Like, even if it was weak, it still worked. Um, Stomp Knee is going to take it, though. Classic combo. Really hard, by the way. <laughs> Got a Caleb Craigasm in chat. What's up, Skip? Glad you're a fan. Oh, big knee. The up throw into Tech Reed knee. Caleb. Suddenly gets some momentum for himself back. Oh, just gets hit with a wave dash back. Two up tilt. Man, frame one is bullshit. Oh, there you go. Nah. 
into knee, into edge guard, doing well. Oh, great shine from Coffee Rex there. He knew the get up attack was coming, but he got hit anyway. There's that Nair I was talking about. Perfect range for Falcon to eat it, basically. Oh, I don't know why. Yeah, that was a dead Falcon off of that uh, missed side B, if I'm being honest. Yeah, both of them kind of flubbing for the next hit, but Coffee Rex just doing a full hop and a double jump, and uh, the timing was enough to beat the Captain Falcon. Some clean neutral going on now. Caleb giving up a little bit of stage here. Triclide, thank you for the follow. Yeah, Caleb should close this. Nice read on the tech in place. Yes, the whole bracket is a four-man round robin. We're doing free entry because why would we ask people to pay for this? They still pay for venue, though. Because look, let's be real. Out of the four people in this round, Robin, I'm not going to force them to give me money. I already got my entry fee. My, uh, I already got my um, my venue fee floated because I'm an organizer, and that's all I need. Oh, good neutral actually. Oh damn, Caleb holding tight center right now. Great grab too. Oh shit. Oh shit. Coffee Rex slow off the ledge. Gets hit by the returning um, up air. So far, Coffee Rex is doing a good job of like placing his aerials, but he's not like uh, going ham and mashing them on the Captain Falcon, which sometimes you can do. You can just like run at him with an airplane and then um, go from there. Oh, there's the shine that's going to take it though. Catching the up B, just extending like that, and Coffee Rex is going to go 2 1 up. These guys literally hopped on to their tournament match after being like on the friendly setup behind them uh, for a solid like 30 minutes. Razko, welcome. Why is Caleb going to take him though? What's going on? Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, back into it. Yeah, the CRT time. I had to like filter out the high pass. All right, so Battlefield for this next game, though, not looking too good for um, Caleb so far, but it is one of Falcon's better stages. I just think that Coffee Rex probably has the uh, comfort of this stage, and that's probably what's going to be carrying him to, to a win, possibly. Caleb's starting to find some ground, though. He's uh, actually holding the center, and he finds the knee. No tech on that. Yeah. And what a way to turn it around, actually. What a way to turn it around. Well played. Alright, Cover X still hasn't managed to finish it off, but actually, in saying that, won the neutral. Came out in with a short hub nair and took the stop. Alright, Caleb not going for the platform there. Trying to find center. Puffy Rex just holding with shield and wave dash in up tilt. It's really scary for Falcon to approach right now. He's, yeah, just playing these wave dash, uh, like, like wave dash back up tilts against the Falcon. Yeah, great job. That was so clean. That's how I like to play as Falco versus um versus Falcon. You just hold that center and you do these up tilts. It makes it really hard for him to do a stomp on you unless he times it right. Oh damn, that just pokes. Oh, chance for Caleb here. Knees. Tries for a tech chase. He's burned his double jump. That is a huge blunder. Yeah, coming back with that double jump just uh Oh, hey! I like that. I think Caleb can clean up the stock right now if he wants, but he's just gotta He's got space a bit better. And when I say that, like, what I mean is, like, Caleb is whiffing a lot of moves. But then when he's, like, going to 
attack for realsies, he's still whiffing. And so that that just means the fox gets to come in with an air and like beat whatever Falcons is putting out in the air. Alright, what's he got? He's got the back air. He knew that wasn't going to be enough to kill him, and he stays on stage with the forward tilt. He actually cleans it up, doing well so far. Oh, great up air from Caleb. And I like that he um, didn't attack there. Like, he went for a bait just by doing the short hop. That was pretty nice. Caleb just needs to not get flustered here. Just needs to find his grab. Or he might just be looking for a knee. There it was. He got the, the nair. Oh my god, that up tilt is just devastating Caleb right now. Oh! Here's a chance for Caleb to bring it back. But he keeps letting these like rare offstage instances slip. He doesn't let it slip that time. Finally, cleaning up the stock, and he's got he's taking a lot of damage, so this is gonna be hard for him to come back. Oh, he comes back with an air. Tech chase time. He had it for a second there, but now Puffy Rex with a little bit of momentum. This is so tricky for Falcon to come back from. Oh, but he gets the up beat. I like that Caleb just waved dash down and went to the ledge there, but. This is so easy to float out of your fox, and that's going to be it. 3 1 to Coffee Rex. Well done. <coughs> okay, so on stream next, we might. Do you want to stay on, Caleb? All right. You can go up, Sam. I'll hold it down here. So up next, we have Euro and Caleb. Caleb's going to stay on the setup. It's feeling warm. A Euro, um, also a bit of a, also a bit of an old school gamer. Been around here for a while now. Glad to see him every now and then because it's uh, not easy traveling to the tournament from where he is. So good to see him. Round Robin. All right, well done. Well done to Coffee Rex. He's in there and Caleb's in here too. We're getting a warm up first. Let's enjoy these clacks. Look at them go. Doing their warm ups. Loving it. All right, and like we said before, we're doing best of five. And in uh, Adelaide, South Australia, we also run Frozen Stadium. So that means uh, Stadium is your neutral stage and FD is your counter pick. What's up? You don't have to ask, you can walk up. Come on, come through. Hey, hey. Wow, that is very loud. Is there a way for me to... Um, I can turn you down. Wonderful. How's that? Perfect. Yeah, put your microphone right up close to your mouth. There we go. That's good. That's good. We have uh, Euro versus Caleb. Yeah, big one. Hey, well done beating Caleb, by the way. Oh, thank you. Well done, uh, well done. That was actually a nice game. Yep. Your up tilts, very, very <laughs> suffocating. Uh, it's very stressful <laughs> playing on stream, slash in tournament even. Yeah, I was going to say... Oh. 
Oh no. Wait, is this, is this... This is real, this is real. Oh no, that's not a good start. That is terrible, actually. See, I, Caleb's like a person I really like to see succeed, but... It, um, you know, it just doesn't happen often. <laughs> Which is the sad thing. Like, it's weird, um... I would say... Our closest games between he and I tend to happen in tournament. Like, he tends to power up a little bit. Yeah, see, I think Caleb actually has, like, what it takes to beat a lot of, like, good players and play really well himself, because he does put the work in. He does actually, like, practice, and, like, he plays net play and stuff, but it's just, like, I don't know what it is. I, I just think that sometimes he doesn't know how to win. Uh, I do know that he doesn't have net play at home, right? So Not at home. So but he doesn't get to play it, like, he doesn't grind it, like, it's grind it like I do. Which yeah, is, that's, that's a thing, right? Yeah. That's, that's a real thing, and it's kind of hard to, like, beat that. In my opinion. For ages when I played him, he was like a very committed RTC. And um, I would just kind of tech in place and then like execution test him a lot. Okay. And he seems to have very much kind of like like comfortably added the, uh, the stump tech in place into his arsenal, which has made it a lot, I mean, he, a lot more threatening. He was definitely hitting you when you were missing your techs. Yeah. yeah. So, like. The punish is there, it's just like, I don't know, like, I, I think maybe some edge guards he lets go, maybe some like, but I don't know, it's kind of hard if you're Falcon versus Fox. It's true, I... Hey, there you go, nice. All the Falcons are deluded into thinking that matchup is playable, but it's not. No, that, it, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, um, like, against Falco and against Fox, it's just like... I don't know. It, it, that's like the reason you stop playing Falcon, I feel, is like those two characters. Every other character you're like, damn, this Captain Falcon kind of sick. And then you play against Falco and Fox and you're like, oh wow, these characters just are built different. Oh shit. That was insane. It was very much like a 45 seconds for the last two stops. Euro former player, I've heard? Like, yeah, so sort of old school. Basically came right. around the same time a lot of us New Bloods came in. Okay. So like 2014, 2015 era. Yep. Um, was missing for a bit just because like it's a bit hard to get to these tournaments from where he is. Um, and I also, I also think he was just focusing on study for a bit. Oh, yeah. Um, so like hasn't been uh, like part of like the introduction to the net player, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But now it's like, I don't know, he's back. He's, he, I think he's playing with net play, surely. No, he is. We were talking about it today. Nick with the lore, Yuru is the first person I played in friendlies at my first ever Street Geek. We're going back a few years if we're mentioning Street Geek. Oh man. Do you know about Street Geek? Has anyone talked to you about that? So when I played, we used to go to LPC, Land Party Central. Mm -hmm. And then that imploded, and Street Geek took over, but this was right when Brawl came out, so I'd stop playing. Yeah. So, I have been to one Street Geek for non-Smash related purposes. Okay. In like, 2007. Okay. See, basically, the period of Smash I came in was the Street Geek era. Right. So, uh, like, people were playing Brawl and Melee at Street Geek. You paid like, what, 10 or $20 just to like, get a ticket for the LAN or whatever, so you could play Melee. There would be no entry fee to melee, yep. and they would just basically like, if you won any game at the LAN, you would get more entries into a raffle that gives you prizes. No actual prizes for winning or anything, just more points into the raffle. Uh, they used to do that at LPC, except that um, the raffle wasn't... The raffle was just a random video game that Jamich had on hand. Oh, Jesus. So one time a friend of mine won, and he got... An Xbox game, a console he did not own. Oh, <laughs> sick. I mean, there's been times where the raffle was just like, you win an onion. That, like, one of us has walked home with an onion. Uh, to track light. I played a little bit in 2007, and then from Slippy onwards. <laughs> it's a good, that's a good track record. I very much came in, and then Brawl came in. <laughs> yeah, look. I was hyped for Brawl at one point. Oh, I, Brawl was an incredible game. Um, I just didn't want to compete in it. Yeah. Did everyone just like drop melee at the time? There was very much a feeling from watching the US tournaments and like around our scene that um that melee was gonna die. Right. So we all just like I I I think a bunch of us kind of like I know Ollie came back. Yeah. And was like 
the god of SA for some time. Oli was great. That was a good era of SA Melee, actually. That was a really good era. That was like... When you got to play Oli on the Melee setup, oh man, <laughs> you'd be cheering super hard. Like, those were my favorite friendlies back in the day. Right, he, um... He was the king when I started, and like no one was ever able to kind of touch him. Yeah, he was good. Oli was really good. He actually, he came to like a tournament in like 2017 or 18, and he like beat me with Sheik. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> like, you haven't been playing. But he just like randomly beat me. And That's like, pretty cool. Every other time we played when he came back, like it would be close, but like, you know, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't quite like good enough. Yeah. But like, I don't know, just him playing Sheik maybe is like, yeah, the uh, the best thing for him to do. Well, to be fair, Sheik is bullshit. Yeah, so. well... Ollie was the best. That's my patented opinion as a Space East player. Yeah, Nick's got the right story here. Grim, Grim Tuesday would win everything, and then uh, Ollie would show up and fuck everyone up. Nice. Like, Ollie would just, like, sh kind of show up every now and then and then, like, beat Grim and everyone else. But before that, like, it was just Grim kind of running the scene. And then Nick beat everyone. And Nick beat Ollie once, he's like, PR me, top of the, top of the ladder. <laughs> I'm, I'm top of the PR now, I beat Ollie once. And we're like, yeah, do it again. And then he did, and then he was the best. Nice. Nick was housemates my friend, and all I would hear was, Grim is whining again. <laughs> Sick. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. This, is, this was my touchstone with the Smash community through like 2016, was Clyde would be like, are yeah. oh, you friends with Clyde? Yeah, he's like Grim, yeah. Grim is whining about losing again. <laughs> like, oh, okay. oh hell yeah, that's sick actually. <laughs> that's so dope. <laughs> I met Clyde on the I'm, very first day of high school. I'm 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 time traveling right now, dude. That's right. This is crazy. Anyway, Caleb doing really well though. Yeah, I did. I think that's right. It's interesting that Euro brought into Yoshi's for game two in a best of five. I think it's and a, not here. I think that's a Euro pick. Truth be told. Okay. I think um. Yeah, he, he kind of likes that stage. It's probably a good idea if you're, like, a little rusty. Right. I mean, more than one person has described me as very lame, and, like, FD just suits me, because... I don't think you're lame. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stand my ground and shoot less. Oh. oh, let's go, Euro. Ah, no kill. So, yeah, I was just talking to Euro a lot about, like, Falco and like, yeah, did, lasers yeah. and, like, pressure and stuff. He's probably not gonna, like, you know be able to put much of it here, like, much of that gameplay here or anything, right? But right. No, no, I mean, you you can't adapt to a lesson in, like, 25 no, minutes. No. But he's actually, see, he's actually, like, thinking about his lasers and his, like, yeah. aerials afterwards a bit more now. Ooh. Hey, nice. Even I mean, he's it. actually, like, none of these games have been... I mean, Caleb did FD a couple of times and then washed him at the end of the first game, but, no. um... See, you're his, like, he's not bad. He's like holding his ground. He's not a scrub. No way. Oh my god, those lasers were disgusting. <laughs> they were just so high up and it still hit Caleb. Oh, something. Actually, nothing. Never mind. I want to see Yuri get this FD game, though. Ooh. Well, Can't be getting stuck in shine, though. Uh, he's getting hit out of his shield. More gun. More gun. Yeah, he could be using more gun. Ah, uh, here we go, though. I, I picked up Falco recently, and... What do you mean by picked up Falco? I decided to play, play Falco. Like... In 20? Like, no, no, just like nine days ago. I was like, I want to play Falco as a secondary. And he's good. And maybe eventually as a main. He is pretty good. And... Ooh, let's go, Yuri. Let's, let's go. go. Until until then, Microsoft J's style was incredibly frustrating to play against, and now he's an inspiration. <laughs> I hate that. I hate to hear that. Really hate to hear that. Oh, oh that's, no! Uh... That's it. 3 0. Alright. Who's staying on? I'll, I'll go up, unless Caleb wants to play his third consecutive set. Do you guys just want to, like, do two on each? It's like, two games on each at a time? So we'll do uh, Sam and Coffee Rex next? Yeah. Sure. Sweet. All right, well, thanks everyone, and thanks All Kai. right, have fun. <laughs> Nick, I'm never going to repeat those words out of my own mouth. Oh, 
All right, so Coffee Rex stepping up to the plate with the old rectangle. Let's see what this baby can do. Um, my money's still kind of... Uh, my money's still kind of on uh, Coffee Rex for this one. He's been playing all right today. Um, but, you know, it's Falco Fox. Anything can really happen. What's there to learn from MSJ if you're Kaiser? All right, getting into game one, though. Uh, I don't think these guys are going to do hand warmers. No, he just wanted a button check, actually. Oh, oh, are we just playing? No, we are just playing. Holy shit. Let's run it. Coffee Rex and Euro. Let's go. Right. Oh, actually survives, but he does a ledge jump and then just gets owned by the back air. Actually, that's true, Triclad. Coffee Rex does play every match like it's a button check. Ah, uh, GG's. <laughs> Shake my hand. Just rolling up. I'm, I'm shaking that guy's hand. Careful. Nice. Alright, we got something started from Euro. Almost had the edge guard there, but the angle was a bit tricky. Hey, that's great to hear, Nick. I'm glad you have someone to look up to. It's not totally over for Yuri yet, though, but, um... He's just getting, like, scuffed by uh, Coffee Rex spacing, you know? And, like, in these, like, scuffle situations, he's just gonna, you know... He's just gonna end up beating him out with uh, superior aerials. When you do aerials on a, on a rectangle, they hit a bit harder. You get a buff, and they come out faster as well. Ah, so cheese, man. Everyone doesn't want to interact with the, with the, uh, with the angle and this ability. Oh, let's go Euro. This is it. Oh, damn. Okay, he had something. If he did dash attack there, that would have been nice. Hey, keep doing these down airs. I love it. It's found the dreams, baby. Okay, he might have a stock here. Well done. There you go. Shield drop. Oh, not shield drop. Shine. You want to do shield drop back out there. I guess scared of kind of doing that really low to the ground. I'll cancel. No up out there from Coverex. I was kind of surprised. Oh, 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 okay. Both guys kind of flubbing a little bit. These uh, shield pressure could have been a bit better. Oh. Oh, that doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good when they uh, shield grab in your face and then you don't get anything off of it. Feels bad, man. Dreamland is the call. Already looking a bit better for Yuri. He has a bit more space to maneuver around um, Coffee Rex's kind of turbulent gameplay. I just want, I just want like Euro to hit a really juicy aerial on shield and then shine immediately, because he's just not getting those, and it's meaning that like Fox gets to just act out of shield however he feels like. He doesn't have to worry about getting shine, because Euro is just not doing them. All right, we got down air into shine, like a couple hits. 
Back here, please. Okay, no, not happening today. And Coverex just getting huge mileage now. Okay, good angle actually. There's the back air. It's weak though. Alright, that wasn't too bad actually. That kinda worked out for the uh for the old um that kinda worked for the box angle, you know? Why is Coffee Rex so yoked? Good question, J Nuts. See, uh, Yura actually finds these like crash cancels, uh, but he doesn't get his own reversal kit off of it too often. He's getting a bit started here, and he's got good pressure in the corner, just the follow-ups haven't been kind of what he wants. He's, and he's not getting like hit too hard, but Coffee Rex is kind of making the hits count a bit more than he is. Now you're using Shine to Bait a little bit. He's almost getting hits, you know, like. Good, like, actually kind of nice neutral here. He just uh, got an unfortunate trade with the uh, down air. And now it's pain time. Oh, good neutral. Yes, F told him. Ah, oh, you gotta shine that. Yeah, look at the way Yuri is moving. It's kind of like, it's kind of refreshing. You don't see many people try and play this way because it's a bit hard to be this tight. And it also, unfortunately, is meaning that his uh, punishes aren't going this far because he's just kind of focusing on moving a little bit in and a little bit out. But he's holding like stage really well. That's the thing. Now Coffee Rex is going to try holding some stage. Yeah, Yuro doesn't have an answer to this yet. He doesn't have an answer to like lasering and then shielding an aerial and rolling into stage. And so yeah, Coffee Rex just gets to take it for a ride. A little bit of flubsies from Coffee Rex though. It could mean that he might lose his stock earlier than he wants. I'm sure he's not too concerned because he got another one to play with, but you know, it's just. You never know when a game might fall out of your hands. Yeah, Euro's Dash Dance needs to just have a bit more intention to it, I feel. At the moment, it's just a bit stilted. A bit like. I don't know, it doesn't kind of move with a flow that makes you want to, like, go against the wave, I guess. But Copyright's going to take it with a quick. Quick stop to his name. We're going back to Greenland, which is fair enough. I actually think this stage, I don't know, like at like a uh, low to intermediate levels, I like this stage versus Fox's Falco. When you get to ch like more challenging opponents, I think Fox gets to one way too easy on this stage. Um, so I like it a little less versus him. But if you are willing to play neutral for a long time. I think it can work out really well for you, but just at the moment, Euro isn't like getting the control he's after. Battlefield in this matchup for Falco is really good. Um, Yoshi's isn't too bad. I would say Falco's best stages in this matchup are probably Fountain and Battlefield. And then Yoshi's and Dreamland are kind of like on the same level of pick. Um, but they're like different. They're like they they like uh, there's different things about each stage that gives Fox a better advantage than others. Falco, you feel? I would probably put. Um, hmm. I think. Yeah, I think actually Dreamland might be the worst stage uh, at higher levels against Fox in this matchup. I think this is actually Falco's worst stage versus Fox. All things considered, like, I would go to Battlefield, I would go to FOD, I would go to Yoshi's, because you can do um, up B, you can do uh, down B, up B. 
Um, and F Smash kills really early, so that's nice. Um, and the ledge platforms are really nice for Falco. And then I would say Pokemon Stadium is probably on the same level as um, probably on the same level as Yoshi's, and then comes like Dreamland. Or rather, I would put FD. I would go FD Dreamland. I would say actually, you know what? I think FD and Stadium are almost on the same level. I think um, pa uh, Pokemon and uh, FD. Uh, Rather, Pokemon Stadium is just between FD and um, Yoshi's story in terms of advantage it gives Falco. Ah, uh, that's it. That's so sad, man. Well, that's a Jeej. A 3-0 to Coffee Rex. And so I'm probably going to come up. It'll be me and you now. I'm going to hop up on the stage and fight Coffee Rex now. See how this goes. All right, gamers. Wish me luck.
Alright, I'm back on the mic, but it's just me, because Euro doesn't want to be fun. Uh, Lemons is playing Marvel, I think. Oh, so I'm not yoked, I'm just fat, it's fine. <laughs> now that I've read the comments. Okay, this is, um... I suspect gonna be rough. High is oppressive. <laughs> Sucks up all the oxygen in the room. And Caleb is playing someone that is not Fox, so. Ah, uh, that might not go so well. Where is his. Oh, the strength control is here. Can I hit the skull? It's very cool. Okay. I'm a, I'm a cool streamer man now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice gentleman. Oh, he caught him. Is this dead? No. Doesn't, doesn't finish his food. There's nothing you can do about that one. Oh, 
Uh, recovery will go quite nicely. Kai has a very flashy keyboard. Oh, nice going, Caleb. Oh, what a what a roll read that time. He's dead for it today. Very nice. Oh, is he Oh he's got him! Let's go, Caleb! Caleb beat you alright, so if he beats Kai, we go 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, Kai. Oh, he's 100% dead. What the fuck? Do you, do you want to calm your Okay. Euro's sitting next to me, but he won't calm. Caleb holding his own. Yes, still game one. Imagine playing Battlefield. I ban the stage light, light first every time. Okay. Hello, hello. Oh, hi, Euro. Okay. You're on mic. Yeah, Liam's, Liam's playing Marvel Nick, so... Yeah. What a dweeb. Actually, low-key Marvel is like an incredibly cool game that I would love to play. But, um... It's pretty sick. It's like melee. A lot of broken stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I just like a lot of depth in its history. Mm. Uh, I just think, like, I, what brought me back to Melee was Slippy's unranked feature. <laughs> you just click my button and get my game. Yeah, yeah. It's it's so good compared to old Netplay. Old Netplay was fucking dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I knew old Netplay existed, but I had no interest in, like, hopping on a Discord and being like, so I want to play. Yeah, yeah. This it was my first day. <laughs> it was more of an effort to set up, but yeah. yeah. Oh, let's go, Caleb. Shield those spite lasers. You a fan of the spite laser? I'm a big fan of the spite laser. What, like you when shoot you, a when laser you're and you're dying? Yeah. No, no, I'm... It's a little win if you hit them. It's just like... <laughs> 3% or whatever. But, but emotionally, you're you like... Just, you just gotta let them know. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Let's go, Caleb. No! Oh, he can't drop those. Especially on Falco. No hitbox in the fire bird. That's, um, that's a real shame, because that was a very early start. Sorry, I'm going for Caleb, because it's the underdog. Oh, we updated the game score? So oh, I sorry, yeah, yeah, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah, Kai's a one-off. It's keeping it even. You had to play Caleb earlier in this matchup. You actually seen, like... Quite proficient, even though I, I would call this unplayable. <laughs> then, like, like, I like to meme about Fox Moth because it's hard, but like, it's not a tenth as hard as Fal uh, Falcon versus either Spacey. Oh, good Eosu. Oh, is, is Lax here? Will he be proud of me if I say that Goody sucks? Because Goody sucks. Oh, oh no. Alright, still even. It'd probably be an abuse of power for me to ban Doritos. So I, well, Kai is playing his tournament set, so I guess I won't. <laughs> Dude, Caleb, one knee! One knee! Oh, you don't have to ban him, can't you time keep? Normally they have like bots, you think that auto auto time out anyway. He thinks that I won't because <laughs> because he said go ahead and do it. <laughs> but like he's, he's testing you. If you do it, that's the ultimate win. Don't do it. It's like reverse psychology. <laughs> There we go. You two lax. Much love. Oh, that's very nice. 
Oh, that's sad. Uh... I mean, well played by Kai, but genuinely a little sad to see. Like, if Caleb hadn't dropped that edge guard. Yeah, he's so close. He's so close. I'm surprised actually these games are so close. Tell you, when I go and play Kai, the games are not going to be this close. <laughs> The Falco Ditto is so hard. I don't understand it at all. It's. Well, Kai was telling me some like Falco specific stuff before. So I felt like he gave me a lot of new knowledge. I wasn't oh, aware. That's, that's good. I mean, I, I would love to have a chat with like a good Falco player and explain to me how this works. That was a um a very nice angle by Kai to get back from under Battlefield though. And like you got to be really specific, right? Because if you don't, if you don't end your firebird right there at the ledge, you, you don't get you get turned around and you just want it. Yeah, exactly. And it fucking sucks. Oh. 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 What? No. He should be dead. Oh no! He's dead. Uh. Let's go, Caleb. Uh, and nice step from the fade back, because there's like no way he was getting back. Black, so the matchups you like. So you don't like Fox, and you don't like Moth. Do you like Peach? Oh, let us He's got it. Black Lex is a Falco, right? Yeah, yeah. I think okay. I think I played him. He's uh He's big hot right now. Yeah. The same. He's up and coming. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's, I don't think Lax is quite a slippy kid, but I think he's pretty close to being a slippy kid. Also, he has good taste in video games because he likes Soul Spawn games. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Truly, really, you know, Melee is definitely the Dark Souls of the uh, Smash <laughs> franchise. I, I love that comparison. Maybe, it maybe, like, maybe it's 64, because in 64, like, you really just get hit and die. You do, so. you do. And I mean, so much, they had to add in a whole, like, a whole one more stop per game. <laughs> yeah, that's right. To deal with that added variance. 64 is so wild. I watched, like, like, a combo video of a it's... guy just recovering in after Firefox. Because you enter into special fall, which means you can get like crazy aerial trips. So okay. he just kind of like waves through everything and just like <laughs> never dies. Dude, it, 64 is like a brawl, but you can cumber when you hit someone. Yeah. That did bother me about brawl when it came out. It was just like, are you sure can't ever get a second hit? Wow. <laughs> That's true. I'm, I'm with Lax on this one. I made a fun tier list recently of like how much I enjoy each matchup. And it's like, I like Moth, and I kind of like Falco Fox, Falcon, and Peach, and everything else kind of sucks. This game's going even again. I'm so surprised. Maybe I'm just out of touch. Because like when I used to come to events regularly, if it was like Caleb Kai, it was like, you know, it was a it was a beatdown. Right. All right, nice. Uh, Kai ended up taking it 3-0, but really not the closest. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 not a SmackDown. Not, not an easy 3-0, no. no. All right, I'm gonna get play. Right, good luck, dude. You like that last combo? Huh? I. Sorry, I was too busy being like amazed at how Caleb almost won all three games. <laughs> Foolish. <laughs> you were definitely the antagonist in that set. I know. It is what it is. Wait, Kai, can you show your controller? Can you show your controller? Uh, it's not. A, you're in the middle of the. There we go. Oh, okay. Press F5. Oh. There we go. Ah, nice. Custom shell. Or maybe just two shells. Ooh, very exciting. I can mess with the things. Ah, uh, I've got it. I got it.
You're rocking the uh, neutral falcon. Will this work? I don't know if Euro has a, a Twitter. I'm going to assume it's at Euro, which definitely will not be taken by the currency unit. Or anything else, for that matter. Alright, Falco Ditto. Red versus neutral, which is a color win for Euro, because the Red Falco is ugly as fuck. Sorry, Lax. Where do they go? It's entirely a matter of preference. Euro and I started on FOD, and Kai doesn't mind FOD. So can we see the rare, like, FOD start? Wow, Lax with the, the bad Falco skins opinions. Red bad, blue, not great. Neutral green, but pretty okay. But genuinely, not a lot to work with. Give me black spaces, please. Alright, well. I just kind of controlling stage while Euro tries to pick his moment, but uh, he's got it, they're even. Wow, Green Fox is kind of ugly. Oh no, Euro, that's a shame. really fishing for this like pop up into down air, but if he's not by the ledge, I don't think he gets him much. That was, uh, that was a nice go. Chase this guy. Fucking styling. Oh my god, the wave land on Randall. Uh, I've, I've got to like, Kai is an incredibly stylish one. Like, the man is both technical and shows it. Kai looking for a stray hit. Here's your oh my god, and when you go with the up smash, it's okay. That's um That's something. Just like you're breaking the rules. Merging the timelines. A little bit of fox in there. Oh, let's go. Signs of life. Yeah, Kai fishing for a back air or any stray hit. Is that a wave dash up tilt by Euro? Sorry, a uh, ledge dash up tilt? Oh, let's fucking go! Man comes out of retirement for this? Uh, oh my god, this is dumb. Oh no! This guy's giving me a lot of hope. Blacks with the no mercy. And back to the ocean. As it should be. So what if we like... Just removed... Dreamland FD... 
battlefield. Every set started on Yoshi's. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh no, dude, what are you doing? I'm I'm I hope he dies for that. I'm trying to style on my man now. Yeah, alright, Falco player. Enjoy touching that top platform in one jump. Falco doesn't recover anyway, so the weird ledges don't bother you. Kai manages to find things off of up throw that I don't really believe exist. Do you have to- is he just hard reading with the IOA? Like surely you can't react to that and still get a shine. Obviously I'm like nine days into playing Falcos, don't- I don't fucking know anything. And I'm dumb as shit, so... Oh no, you're right. This is uh, it's not good. less good. Oh shit! Why have went into Octel? Now I gotta imagine that's way more useful to Falco than to Falco, given you send people off. Oh, yeah. Why? That's cool, and I should definitely practice that. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the no hit bumps fire right on stage. There we go. Oh, I didn't do the scores, my bad. Right back to Yoshi's. Oh my god. That wasn't quick zero to death. Can you get another one? Nope. Oh my Okay. I suppose that probably is harder to couple with Falco because the grab doesn't yield as much. So you don't want to grab them taking away on platform. Oh, it's fine. The discipline did not go for the suicide <laughs> How do you resist? That thing is an incredibly pure dopamine head. You just see someone off stage, go and hit them. Take one, take one. Come on. Ooh. Love the wave dash back. Shiny wave dash forward. Oh, uh, this does not look good. Oh, hello! No, no JV4, hit him. And not with a laser. Yeah. Honest hit. Ooh. Honest combo. Ah, uh, and a quick free. Congrats to Kai winning the tournament. Uh, three and zero record. Alright, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna go because I think, I think we're good. <laughs> yeah. the course of history here, guys. Yeah. What was your score versus your... Okay. You guys make it easy. Um, me versus Caleb. Uh, that one. And uh, this one. Woo! Not 3-0. Uh, not 3-0. That was sick. There's the bracket, guys. That's Cheese League this month, you know. Um, yeah, pack up one of the TVs and Wii's, and then we should be good. Thanks, Caleb. All right. Woo! Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for support, guys. Much appreciated. Why can't I close this? Add friend. Whisper. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's going to be it from us. Um, thanks for watching Cheese League November 2021. Uh, I'm going to be packing down soon. Um, I'm going to host you off to somewhere else, though. Um, I appreciate you all coming through. Thank you. If you haven't already, please follow us on all of our social media. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do. Thanks, Nava. You too. Uh, yeah, please subscribe to the YouTube. SA Smash TV there. That's where the vlogs will go. Oh, right, because I gave you money. That's right. Thank you. Um, so, I think that meant that I won. Coffee got second. And I believe Caleb got third. So not a bad, not a bad time. I, I am just happy I get to put on a show for everyone. Thank you for ho hosting us as well, Goody, earlier. Appreciate it. And Banyald, thank you for following. Yeah, please subscribe to the YouTube channel because that's where our VOD archive goes. And uh, follow me on Twitter because I always tweet out when we go live. Uh, but that's going to be it from us in South Australia. Let's uh, host you off to someone else. Um, 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 I probably don't need to... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, they're playing um, KOF. Right. I was going to host you off to the Couch Warrior stream, but it actually looks like our fighting game events are done for this evening, so we're kind of... It's kind of all over Red Rover for us here at um, Cheese League today. So, yeah. Um, what I was going to do was host, host off. Need to find someone to host. Um, because we don't have our other stream to host now. Um, truth be told, let's send you over on to. Um, yeah, let's send you over to. This is a tough one. Yep. Yeah, all right. I'm holding. I'm hosting Salty Paris. They're playing. Um, they are playing um, King of Fighters beta right now. So I'm a fan of that, and I'm going to host them off. 
Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out. Bye-bye. Bye, Nii. -bye. Bye